The birth of the internet, a story of connection and defense. It all began in the late 1960s, a time when the world was in the midst of the Cold War, a period of intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. As global tensions rose, the US government sought ways to strengthen its defense systems and ensure secure communication in case of a nuclear threat. Computers, though still in their early stages, were seen as a tool that could revolutionize how information was shared and protected. However, these massive room-sized machines could only communicate with devices that were directly connected to them, limiting their potential. In 1969, the U.S. Department of Defense launched ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, a project that would eventually lay the foundation for the internet. ARPANET's initial goal was to create a communication network that could withstand potential disruptions or attacks, such as a nuclear strike, and ensure that information could still flow between military and government institutions. The idea was simple yet revolutionary, to connect computers at different locations so they could share data across vast distances without relying on a single vulnerable point of failure. On October 29, 1969, ARPANET made history when the first message was sent between two computers, one at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and the other at Stanford University. The message was intended to say, login, but due to a technical glitch, only the letters LO were received before the system crashed. Despite this hiccup, the experiment was a success, marking the first time computers in different locations had communicated over a network. That moment was the birth of what would one day become the internet. Throughout the 1970s, ARPANET expanded as researchers and universities joined the network. It became a valuable tool for academic collaboration, allowing scientists and engineers to share research and ideas across great distances. To facilitate this growing network, computer scientists developed new technologies, including the TCPIP protocol. This protocol enabled computers on different networks to communicate with each other reliably, which was crucial for ensuring the system's resilience. As a result, ARPANET grew from a defense project into a powerful tool for research and communication. However, the true transformation of the internet came in 1989, thanks to British computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee. While working at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, Berners-Lee introduced the World Wide Web, a system that allowed documents and information to be linked together across the internet. This was a groundbreaking innovation, making it much easier for ordinary people to access information and navigate the growing network. In 1991, the first website went live, and the World Wide Web began to flourish. By the mid-1990s, what had started as a military project to safeguard communications had grown into something far larger. Email, search engines, and web browsers revolutionized how people interacted with information and with each other. No longer confined to researchers and government officials, the internet became a global phenomenon. People from all corners of the world could now connect instantly, share ideas, and explore new digital landscapes. As the internet grew, it became clear that its potential went far beyond military defense. It transformed business, education, entertainment, and social life, bringing the world closer together in ways that had once been unimaginable. What began as a Cold War era initiative to protect American military communications had, over the course of a few decades, become the most powerful tool for global connection and knowledge sharing ever created. Today, the internet is an essential part of daily life for billions of people. It has removed barriers, democratized access to information, and revolutionized nearly every industry. But its origins remain a testament to the intersection of defense, innovation, and human curiosity a story of how a project designed to protect a nation evolved into a global network that connects the world.